Hey guys, look folk here and welcome to another FIFA 20 team of the season, a player review. And today, guys, we're in the 93 rated flashback team of the season. Axel Witzel from Borussia Dortmund. This card looks absolutely insane. And when I saw that this was the new SBC today, it actually reminded me of his team of the season card from last year, who I think I'm right in saying I packed or I might have reviewed or something like that. And I think I remember being like an amazing card. And uh, EA had basically just done a flashback to that card uh, from last year, which is fantastic. He does already have like an 86 rated footmas card. So it's a big uh, increase between that and his flashback card. But now he did cost me 50,000 coins to complete his flashback card in the three games that I did He didn't score me any goals and he got me two assists. He also does have four star weak thoughts as well as four star skill moves getting into his game stats his main standout stats will be his 99 short passing his 95 stand tackle as well as his 92 strength and finally his 99 composure um i just had the basic camps i applied to him i didn't end up applying anything else to him and he's got the two traits of solid player and leadership Great card. Absolutely fantastic card. Uh, according to Fogbin, he's coming at 150,000 coins to complete his SBC. And, you know, it, listen, it's very interesting. I mean, this card, um, on first glance, I haven't compared the two cards on in-game stats exactly. But he looks very similar to the team of the season. Indeed, the SBC we had a few weeks ago, of course, for the Premier League on the uh, on the night that the Premier League arrived. And that was a very good card. I said that he was a fantastic value for money card as well because I think he was about 150,000 coins and I think had like, the same requirements as what the Vitzel SBC does, an 84 and an 85 rated squad. And I think he's fantastic. Um, I thought that the Sal SBC that we had last week was, you know, decent value for money. But this one and the Indeedy uh, SBC fantastic value for money very very good if you've got a Bundesliga team um he's probably a must do SBC and it's very interesting because I really like this card but I don't know whether I'm going to use him ahead of Cruz in my main team I think I don't know who else got into the Bundesliga team this season if Hakimi did get into the Bundesliga team of the season I think I will continue to use this Witzel card and buy Hakimi because at the moment I had to use him with uh, with um, Maldini at left back on, on only 6 chem but in terms of how he's using game he's fantastic quality quality card um I do think either as a centre mid in a box to box field position like I used him in, or as a CDM in a 4 1 2 1 2 formation or something like that, I think he's equally good in either position. Um, and, and for me, his first probably is tackling. Even as a box to box footer, he still had to do some defensive um, jobs. And uh, yeah, you know, his, his, his defensive stats all around 89 interceptions, 81 def uh, 91 defensive, 95 stand tackle, 93 side tackle, absolutely insane. I do also apologize, guys, there's like a lot of light that you see in the background of this video. It's just I've ordered some food and I'm kind of like waiting to see in the reflection of my webcam if I see the guy kind of turn up so basically I can't close my blinds or anything like that so that's the reason why they're up so I apologize if my face isn't as clear for this video but that's the reason just so you kind of um know about that but uh, anyway back to the review um yeah tackling obviously superb around you know where that even that basic chem style takes his defense bonus to 95 takes his stand tackle to 99 uh, his stand tackle goes to 97 as well top 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 defensive stats you can't ask for any for more they're like center back level stats absolutely insane um i mean if you wanted to you could use him as a center back he'd probably be just as good if not probably better than the flashback boateng spc and flashback boateng um costs like double the amount of axel vitzel so if you really wanted to Use him as a centre back. Fair play. I think he'd actually work as that. You know, looking at his defensive stats, his physical stats, his height, his pace, his passing, he would work as a centre back 100%. But, um, but I myself would use him as a midfielder, of course. Um, but yeah, his passing, again, two assists in the three games. Very nice return there. Uh, 99 short passing, 89 vision, 93 long passing. His long passing with that basic chem still goes up to 97. His vision goes up to 93, which is fantastic. And also his physicality, very nice height. 92 strength as well, goes up to 96. Superb. Can hold his, uh, his ground well in the midfield position. Doesn't get bullied off the ball. Can bully opposition players off the ball. Uh, another very, very effective part of the card. I mean, there's no issues to him whatsoever. I think on the whole, really, really good. Fantastic value for money. Um, he gets a 10 off me. He honestly gets a 10 out of 10 value for money for me in terms of, you know, it's an SBC that's pretty much, you know, very affordable. Um, and even if you don't have, like, lots of coins in your club, maybe you've got, like, players in your club that you can put into doing the SBC and stuff like that. For an 85 rated and 84 rated team with no informs required or anything like that, um, I don't think you can go wrong with this SBC Watto. I think he's a top, top, top quality cards very versatile in many different positions as well whether it's a centre midfielder a cdm a centre back he'll do either of those very very well indeed so on the whole um he he deserves a 10 out of 10 rating like i don't give 10 out of 10s that often anymore but as far as i'm concerned he thoroughly deserves a 10 out of 10 rating because i think he's a top top player and i certainly enjoyed using him. but anyway guys thank you very much for watching this video and i'll see you guys later